Hey family, uh, today we're going to talk about a life hack that will really help you bring down your stress level with people at work, at church, at organizations. Trust me when I tell you, once you learn this life hack, your life will get less stressful. Okay, so let's talk about this. The first thing we'll talk about is why we're stressed out with people at work and at church and organizations. Okay, so usually we work with people and we're trying to get the job done. There's people who get things done and there's people who don't get things done as well. And let me know if these scenarios feel familiar to you. Uh, you give a job to John and John has 10 steps in this project and John seems to be stuck on step one and two. And you're like, John, why are you still on one and two? And he'll give you a bunch of reasons and you'll work with him. And then John's still on step three after all the discussions. Or you have Susie who is working on a project with you. And Susie, she got most of it, but she says she'll have it done uh, by the 10th. And on the 10th, she's only halfway through the project. You're like, I don't understand what's going on here and then you have Paul or uh, it's called Paul Paul A to Z gets it done hands him hands in the project done on the 10th like it's supposed to be at least this portion anyway and you're like why can't everybody be like Paul well I'm here to tell you the reason why you're frustrated and the reason why those things bother you is because you have not categorized the people correctly I call it A to Z A to M and A to B. People usually fall in these three categories as far as getting things done. The mistake we make is asking people who are A to Z, uh, I'm mean, sorry, people who do A to B to do, to do A to Z projects. So what I'm saying is people who are from A to Z are full-fledged, get it done, not a problem. They don't have issues, they don't ask questions, and actually they bring you back with extra things in it. Um, your A to M people are kind of in between. They kind of get most of the job done, but they have some questions. And once you answer those questions or get them past their block, they can finish the job. The last group is your A to B people, which is take this piece of paper and put it on the desk. And when you do that, come back and see me. So no judgment. And it's really simplistic. So I'm not saying this works in every situation, but I'm telling you for my 25 years in being in management, if you categorize people the correct way, it will lower your frustration. So here's the deal. Go back into your teams and look at who's A to B, who's A to M, and who's A to Z. So you know if you deal with an A to B person, there's going to be a lot of questions and a lot of, people, a lot of coming back and forth. So you expect that and you know that. So therefore your frustration won't be giving that person a full project to do and they can't do it. The same thing with A to M. You know somebody's A to M, they'll get most of it done, and they're going to get done to pretty much, they can almost get to the finish line, but they can't quite get it there. They're going to need some help doing that. And that's fine, and you help them do that. Your A to Z people, easy breezy, smooth sailing. The key component is not to overwork your A to Z people because you don't want to deal with the A to B uh, John over here, so you give all the work to uh, Paul who's A to Z. You don't want to do that. Uh, in my Patreon, I'm starting a Patreon channel, I'm going to go into a deeper dive of how to move a person from A to B to A to M and how to move a person from A to M to A to Z. Uh, and that's going to be really, really important. Uh, we're going to do some more of these videos what I call life hacks to help you understand how to make your life better and easier because the most important thing in this life is enjoying it. And the less frustration you have, the better. And hopefully this is helpful. And we'll do another video uh, bringing some more things about how to make life easier.